Hello everybody and welcome to Kim Day, also known as Monday. I'm going to start saying it that way now. It's not Monday, also known as Kim Day. It's just Kim Day, also known as Monday. I'd rather have Kim Days each week rather than Mondays. I don't know about you guys. Welcome to another edition, yada yada yada. Um, there's a few questions to ask, there's a few things going on. I thought I'd start by showing you my wicked awesome shirt that I got when I was in Vegas last time. You have seen my other Beatles shirt that, um, the all you need is heart, all sparkly. This is the other Beatles shirt I got while I was in Vegas. It is rather gold lame, the Beatles, and some faces. Isn't it hot? I love it. I actually... I haven't really worn it in public yet, but um, I still love it. Also, note for today, um, I believe you might be able to see back there my fiancé's absolute vodka bottle collection. And yes, there's a lot of vodka in there as well. Um, I'm on my living, my dining room table this time. Just thought I'd toss it up a little bit. So, what's new in my life? Well, I'm almost done school for the year. Thank goodness. I've done all of my report cards. Thank you very much. I'm very excited about that. I've done them all. They're almost all handed in. i got one more set to give in tomorrow. Then that'll be done. I have one more night concert, one more parent meeting, and one more afternoon concert. And I'm done on the 26th. So I'm extremely excited for that to be done. I'm not extremely excited to be poor all summer because I won't have any money coming in. But I am extremely excited to have two months off. Yay! Um, so yeah, I think things are starting to get a little bit, a little bit lighter around here, which is nice. I've got the wedding to focus on now, so I should probably get to doing that at some point, but who knows, really. Um, questions, questions, questions. Lisa, super secret password. It doesn't matter what I say because I'm not going to be there. So have whatever stupid password you want to have while you're all stupid together. Maybe my bitterness will wear off, but I doubt it. Uh, Lizzie, how are my goals before Terminus? Oh, okay, let's talk about Terminus again, if you insist. Uh, well, my goal, I think, was to get married, so I'm not married yet, but it's still going down that way. Um, I have stuff and people and places and things, so I think my goal before Stupid Terminus is going quite well. Um, Addie, if I could have one real-life skill, what would it be? Um, this is going to sound dumb. But my real life skill that I wish I could have is that I wish I could run. I can't run. I couldn't run to save my life. I have bad knees and bad lungs. Um, I have exercise um, asthma, so whenever I start getting exercisical, that's a word. Aren't you glad I teach children? Um, my lungs give out and I can't breathe very well. And it seems to get worse when I run. It seems to happen really fast and really bad. Um, I have really bad knees as well, where I can't do any kind of running or and or contact sports with my knees because they get all red and inflamed and sore for forever. So I've never been much of a runner, but I've always wanted to do a triathlon because I can swim okay and I, I'm really good at riding a bike because when you can't run, they make you ride the bike. Um, and I've always wanted to do a triathlon, but I can't, I can't seem to get the running down. I, even if I just have to run 5k on some of the smaller ones, can't seem to be able to do it, so that's what I wish my real life skill was. Ugh. Oh well. Ooh, I forgot to say when I said my goal for Terminus. MJ, I am so proud of you. 25 pounds? That's awesome. That is such good work. I know how hard it is to lose weight like that, and I am so proud of you. Way to go. Really, really well done. Um, Lisa, what's my favorite drink? Hmm, do I have to pick just one? Well, see, I have different drinks for different moods. Like, I love Guinness. Guinness is good stuff. And I'm stealing Andy's answer to the question again, I think. Sorry, Andy. Uh, Guinness is good stuff. I also like Strongbow. If you haven't had it, it's like a uh, dry, ap kind of like an apple cider. It's really good. Really, really good. Comes in big tall cans. Mm, gotta love it. Best mixed drink? Um, I'm a big fan of the gin and seven. That's a good combination. I also like vodka, as you can tell. Um, yeah, so uh, any of those would be great when you see me not at Terminus, but at LeakyCon. Uh, favorite line from Hairspray? Um, I've never seen Hairspray. Sorry, I just thought I'd duck out of the way while you threw things at me. Fortunately, I'm through your computer and you can't, but I've never seen it 
I should, if I realize I mean to at some point, uh, but I haven't seen it yet. So, um, I'll answer that once I've seen it, okay? Don't kill me. Um, MJ, back to you. What song with you sing at karaoke? Well, first of all, I'd like to say, one night when I was at a bar, a very drunk man, I'm sure he meant it from his heart, told me that I have Betty Davis eyes. So, what do you think? Maybe? Yeah, I took it as a compliment. Uh, what song would I sing at karaoke? Easiest question in the world. The only song I ever sing at karaoke, and that's Love Shack. It is the best song put on the face of the planet. I can't explain it. I don't know why. You think me with a music degree would have a higher taste in music than that. I can't help it. I just love the song. And when I sing it in karaoke, I sing both voices. I'm extremely proud of myself to be able to do that. In fact, I'll tell you a secret if you don't tell Peter. YouTube. Um, I'm actually walking down the aisle <laughs> to Love Shack. A classical guitarist is going to do a different, like a fancy rendition of Love Shack for me to walk down the aisle to. That's how much I like it. So I will definitely sing it for you. I might need to be drunk at the time. But I will definitely sing it for you, karaoke. And thank you for saying at LeakyCon and not just assuming that we're all going to be together. Oh, I get to see everybody at Terminus. Oh, Terminus, where I get to see everyone. <sighs> if I could edit very well and or have the time for right now, a little thing would go across saying, and bitter rant. Sorry, guys. I'll stop complaining. I think it's the 12 stages of grief. I think I'm on bitchy. Next step after this is going to be like, I don't know, denial. And then maybe I'll end up somewhere at understanding. Though there might be a crying period in there too. Who knows? It'll be interesting to see in the next couple of weeks how that all goes. Anyway, uh, do I want to ask a question this week? Let me think. Let me think. Ooh, I know. As a teacher, I always wonder this about other people because I always think back as a teacher, I think about my old teachers um, and really good teachers and really bad teachers. So tell me a teacher story. Um, either a really, really good teacher story or a really, really bad teacher story. Okay? I've got some really good ones and really bad ones, so I'll share mine next week. But tell me something exciting about a teacher and tell me why they were really, really good or why they were really, really bad. Okay? Thanks, guys. Liz, I hope you got my package. Uh, my, well, it's not, it wasn't a package. I didn't really send you a present. I just sent you a something. Um, I hope that you got it and I hope that you like it. And I would be sad that I didn't send you a package, but it looks like most people haven't sent you anything anyway. So I'm doing better than them. Yay! All right, guys. I hope you're all doing well. I'm glad I get to see you this way because it's going to be even longer before I see you guys. Look, I think I just moved down a stage. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Hope you're all well. Mwah!